welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Hannah and I'm currently playing with colors or at least that's my goal for this year. If you want to be subscribed, please go ahead and do so and click the notification button as well if you want to be notified whenever I upload new videos. So today we're going to play with Kathleen Light's latest collaboration with ColourPop. This is going to be the Dream Street Palette, which is this one, and the Dream team lip bundle which are these unfortunately the boxes are no longer with me because i have a lot of stuff and i just don't want to you know um waste storage space i am a tiny bit late on this little demo review swatch thingy because this has been out i believe for two months already because i think they launched the thursday after cyber monday and i bought it then but seeing as I live in the Philippines, it took quite a while to reach me. And I have also been busy with school. So that just prolonged everything else. So let me just tell you the prices on these. So again, I bought these directly from the site. The palette, which is this one, is $16. It has 12 colors or 12 shadows. 12 pants. They are smaller than their regular um, single shadows, but I think that's fine. I, well, at least to me, that's fine. The packaging on this one is a really um, hard cardboard. It's still sturdy. It closes up magnetic. No mirror, but uh, that's fine for me. This is cruelty free, and each pan I believe is 0.03 ounces. Again, it's smaller than their typical um, single shadows. So let's go through the shades of the palette. So we're going to start with the top row from the left. We have Shooting Star, Magical, Stardust, Twinkle, Second Row, Sweet Dreams, Water Bearer, Potion, Spark, and last row we have Kaleidoscope, Elfish, Mooney and Mermaid Boy. So these are the first four shades. The first one is Shooting Star, which is a matte, soft, golden brown. The second one is Magical, which is a matte yellow peach. Next is Stardust, metallic true copper. And the last one is Twinkle, which is a metallic true rose gold. These are the next four shades. We have Sweet Dreams, which is a metallic soft champagne with a peachy pink flip. Next one is Water Bearer, which is a matte cool teal. Next one is Potion, which is a matte vivid reddish rust. And lastly, we have Spark, which is a matte neon red. Last four shades in the palette, we have Kaleidoscope, which is a metallic intense silvery nude. Next one is Elfish, a matte rich red brown. Next is Mooney, a satin soft baby pink. And lastly, Mermaid Boy, a metallic deep teal. Lip bundle, if you choose to buy all three, is $16. Um, the glossy lip, if you want to buy this alone, it's $6. And these two are $6.50 each, the ultra satins. So their liquid lips pretty much look like the other liquid lipsticks. Their tube applicator is the same, but the color of this one is a bit different. It's not their typical silver. And the detailings on these are so pretty. And I don't know, I just really, really, really love them. The liquid lips um, are at 0.11 ounces. Yep, they're the same for all three. The glossy is in the shade Moonchild. The two satins, the first one is Dreamy and the second one is, I don't know if I'm going to say this right, I believe it's Rev. So yeah, I'm not French. So we're now moving on to the lip swatches and I apologize in advance because my lips are very dry and cracked right now.
I know this watch is really, really bad, but I, I can't give two shits about it. It's 4 a.m. So I have already primed my eyes with a no filter concealer by Colourpop. So now I'm going to take the Dream Street palette. I'm going to use Magical, which is this shade. I'm going to place that all over my lid to set the concealer. With a smaller brush, I'm going to use the shade Shooting Star. And I'm going to place that in the crease area. So now I'm going to take Potion and Shooting Star. I'm also going to place that in the crease area. So I'm going to pack that on. I'm also taking it a bit above the crease area, so just above the socket as well. And when I'm happy with the placement, I'm going to start blending in circular motions. Then I'm going to go back with Magical again, just to blend out the top part. I'm adding more potion again into the crease because I want this to peek through when I cut my crease. And then going in with the brush I used for magical, but I didn't add I didn't add more of the shadow. I just used this brush to blend the edges out. Now I'm going to dip into Elfish. I will be placing that at the outer corner. So I'm just going to pat that here. Get another brush to blend that. I don't have to be precise because I'm going to cover that. I'm going to take Water Bearer here. And I'm going to place that on top of Elfish. So I'm just patting that on for now. There's a lot of fallout, you can see, because it is very, very pigmented. So I'm not blending it as of the moment. And I'm also going to add in the inner corner. So I'm just going to take some concealer and place it at the back of my hand. And I'm going to use this tiny, tiny brush and place this at the top first. So when I'm looking straight, I can't see the concealer yet. So like it's just barely peeking through. So I'm going to place that a bit higher. And then I'm just going to bring the concealer down like so. So that's down the middle. And then at the side, I'm just going to drag it a bit. But I'm not going to do like a straight up cut crease in the middle, like a straight up halo. I'm going to do it like a triangle. It looks crazy, huh? Tiny bit! I ain't gonna lie, it still looks crazy. Now we're going to take Kaleidoscope, which is this shade. So I'm taking the shade Kaleidoscope right here. And I'm going to pack that on top of the concealer that we placed earlier. We're gonna take Mermaid Boy next. Pack that onto the brush and I'm going to place that at the edges of Kaleidoscope and Water Bearer. Now that that is placed, I'm going to take more of Water Bearer to pack on because when I blend it a little bit, the color or the shadow somehow lifted. I'm going to take a tiny, tiny brush here, mix potion and elfish. 
And I'm just going to run that over the top of Water Bearer in the crease. So now I'm just going to take a wet wipe here, clean up my face from all the fallout. I'm going to take a small brush, mix in a little bit of Potion and Elfish, and I am going to smudge and smoke out the lower lash line. So I am going to take Mooney and highlight my brow bone. I'm also going to highlight my inner corners with Mooney. nothing underneath so let's uh, talk about the lip bundle the most surprising one was the lip gloss because I feel like I can pull it off it is a bit nude but if I just put a little uh, lipstick or lip liner underneath I could definitely pull it off but I thought I wouldn't be able to Rev I kind of I don't know if it's Rev but Rev I kind of knew that I wouldn't be able to use it or pull it off unless it's some sort of specific look that I'm going for. I feel that it's too neon and bright on my skin tone or at least I'm just not used to these type of um, colors on me. And uh, Dreamy, I also was kind of 50-50 when I bought it. I wasn't sure if it's going to lean towards 951 which is uh, now one of my current um, favorites but I feel like it's also a bit pulling neon a tiny bit if I'm not mistaken so this one maybe I'll just use sparingly if you feel like these are the colors for you then go for it but if you're like me who is a bit more morena and doesn't really like bright colors on her skin then I would just say skip out on this maybe just take the lip gloss if you really want to try the products or if you just want to support Kathleen and ColourPop. As for the uh, eyeshadow palettes, again, oh my god, I really, really love the packaging. The names of the shades are at the back as well, if I haven't mentioned that. For me, the colors that really bring you in are Water Bearer and Mermaid Boy. So, which is definitely why I chose this type of eye look for this video. Good morning, Nadal. Sabi ng mga manok. <laughs> I hear ya, I hear ya. Malapit ako matapos, I hear ya. Anyway, so for me, it is such a good palette. The colors or the shadows here, I don't know if they did improve the formula. People keep on saying that they have. But I really do feel like they are very, very easy to blend. The other shadows were easy to blend already. So for these to be easier to blend, it is very, very good. So I am pretty, pretty happy with that. The shades that I had a problem with were Mermaid Boy and Elfish. Um, Mermaid Boy was very, very powdery. I believe the rest are powdery already because of, I guess, just how pigmented it is. But Mermaid Boy, admittedly, is more powdery than the rest. Uh, it actually already shows a tiny bit of a dent. If you can see that, I'm not sure if it's picking up, but it does show a bit of dent, maybe because of how just hard I went in there because I really needed to pack on the colors. And another thing, I felt that I couldn't blend Mermaid Boy, which was kind of weird because in the videos that I saw, it was smooth and flawless. But when I blend this out, it shows up patchy. So I'm not sure if it's because of the color or the... Um, primer that I placed underneath or the brush that I use. Probably the brush, I'm not sure. Elfish was also powdery. I believe you saw that it had a lot of fallout and um, 
the thing is, I'm not sure if I'm just having a bad makeup day because Elfish blended beautifully here, but on my right eye, it showed a patchy as well. So I wasn't sure too if the patchiness of Mermaid Boy was because Elfish was patchy on my right eye. So again, I'm not entirely sure if it's me or the shadows. But um, as you can see, the eye look still pulled through. And for $16 and 12 eyeshadows, I, I, mm, it's good. I mean, I can do pretty soft, neutral, everyday looks. I can do neutral, glam looks. And I can do glam pops of color looks. This is really good for me, especially since these two colors I can actually use to set my primer, uh, my eye primer. So I believe I really, really like this. And I really like this shade. It looks a lot like Weenie, which again is a Kylie Lights collab. Surprise, surprise. So if you can, pick this up. Don't be afraid of the blues and the pinks because... There are a lot of neutrals here. There are a lot of neutrals here, so don't be afraid of those three shadows. And you never know, you could just need those three colorful shadows in your life, maybe once, or whatever. But the rest of the shades are very, very wearable, if you get my drift. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the products. I do have an order coming, but Maybe it's still going to take a month, so it's going to be another late to the trend type of thing. Please comment below if you would still be interested in other uh, video suggestions that you may have for me. I'm still collecting um, Q&A questions. What? I'm, mm -hmm. I'm still collecting questions for my Q&A video. I will be doing that or uploading that video probably on March 1st. On my birthday, I feel like it's kind of um, apt because it's my birthday and I want you to know me more, I guess. We'll see. So yeah, see you on my next video. We'll knife those you bananas. Make banana pies and I hope you keep staying true. Bye!